Hey everyone, you're about to watch the founder of Cafe X. His name is Henry Hu and he's got an amazing story. If you want to be one of the entrepreneurs learning here at Draper University, just like the people you see in the audience, make sure you apply today at draperuniversity.com. Hope you enjoy the video. I guess, do you think you guys will replace all coffee shops in the next whatever oh, amount of years? Uh, well, so the machine that we make, the, the robotic coffee bar, um, can actually be put inside a coffee shop. Um, so I think, uh, you know, we're working on some, some concepts where we have um, the machine basically in a fairly traditional coffee shop, um, and it's making, it's serving the espresso drinks and like matcha lattes, chocolate drinks, um, and like cold brew and basically like beverages. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you, it's still a cafe, and you can have people there. They're preparing, like, pastries or sandwiches, um, and, of course, greeting customers. So it, it's, uh, like, we're, we're, not, we're not, like, making this machine to kill all the cafes in the world. We're, like, let's make some, like, like deploy these um, in, in places where people want to get coffee and, and don't want to wait in line. Um, but if you want to go to a cafe and sit there and have food... <laughs> Like, you could just also just put our machine in, in a cafe. Is food one of those things that you guys will move into? I know I've seen a few companies that make hamburgers. Uh, I think I've seen some pastries. There's actually one of our alums that makes pastries in Argentina um, with robots. Uh, so are you guys moving into food? Um, it definitely at some point in the future. Um, so, like, one of the reasons we use a, a robot arm um, is because it's very, uh, like, flexible or we can we can basically so we basically like design the machine to have a robot arm move a container around to different machines inside this big kiosk um, so that means um, as uh, over time as we like up, upgrade our menu or expand the menu or change you know to, to different things it's fairly easy to do that you basically just like take a coffee machine out and put something else in um, so, for example, like the, our, our initial machine just had like two espresso machines and eight ounce cups, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, we designed that in Hong Kong and uh, eight ounce only <laughs> is definitely not big enough <laughs> for the U.S. market. <laughs> so we immediately added bigger cup sizes. Um, and then we also added ice drinks recently to basically the same machine. We just, ice, ice drinks? We, yeah. Oh. So we, we like literally just like move the two coffee machines apart and then put an ice dispenser in the middle <laughs> and reprogram the robot. It's like, okay, now we have, our menu is twice as big and we have ice drinks. Um, and, uh, and then our, our newer machine has a, a beer tap that serves um, like cold brew coffee and tea. Um, and then we have an even newer machine that we're launching at uh, SFO in September um, that's gonna just basically like expand on that even further and have this like really Massive market, uh, massive menu. Um, um, yeah. Great. Um, in terms of the business model, you mentioned, hey, we can be inside cafes. Um, are you guys going into more of a uh, robot as a service type of business where you give this to, let's say, the coffee shop across the street, or will you always own, you know, the whole brand, the whole experience? Yeah. Cur currently, we we only own and operate, uh, so we have three locations now operating, and then we'll have a few more by the end of the year, including at SFO. Um, uh, we're the, we've got like emails every day from people like all over the world, they want a franchise, we're licensed, we're just like buy machines. Um, um, I think people have offered, uh, or people have requested to, to have their machine in their very large house. <laughs> we're like, uh, like a big curate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's so um, basically, we're like production constrained right now. Um, we really believe in, in being like fully vertically integrated. So we, we do all the hardware engineering, software engineering, um, and we build the machines ourselves. Um, so it, it basically, it's gonna it, it's gonna take a little bit of time for us to set up, basically refine the product uh, or optimize it on the engineering side to the point where we we feel comfortable building a lot of them, and then we have to build like a initially a small factory and then a bigger factory to actually build the machines. Um, so in the long term, we, we definitely would love to do that. Um, I think like licensing internationally or franchising um, uh, makes sense. Um, and then in terms of working with other coffee brands, that's kind of already like baked into our, 
our brand. So with Cafe X, we uh, partnered with local coffee roasters. So if you look at our menu, there's Intelligentsia, Ritual, uh, Equator. These are all like kind of really um, well-known local coffee roasters with mm -hmm. their own kind of cult followings. Um, so we're very open to working with other coffee brands. Uh, if, yeah. Yeah, when I went to one of your locations, I think there were like four different types of milk that you could use. Um, and I read somewhere that you guys are the only ones that offer like a specific type of milk that's really not found <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. So we, 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 we actually, we were one of the first coffee places in San Francisco to offer uh, oat milk. Um, it's, 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 it's from a brand called Oatly, which is from Sweden. Um, and they like launched in the US last year. Um, and that's been like, just like taking off. So like milk of the year, <laughs> milk of the year of 2018 uh, was oat milk. Um, and I, I, I read somewhere for 2019, it's going to be hemp milk. <laughs> <laughs> hemp milk, all right.